afternoon. I trust we've been having a wonderful day already. So people are beginning to join in. So good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope our day has been going on well. Good afternoon. So um, let's just give a minute to admit everybody. People are already coming in. Yes, people are already coming in. Okay. Yes, I'm adding people. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Mr. Fol Mrs. Falakemi, Mr. Salako, Mr. Ginodu, Afolake Michael. Welcome, welcome. Mr. Olamide, show your year. Welcome. 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 It's so nice having you all. Welcome. Welcome. So for our YouTube, our YouTube viewers, welcome. Those on Google Meet, welcome. You're all welcome. So let's start without further much ado. So I am Quincy Adejumoke Ademola. And um, I am representing Eddie Tams. I'm the Odyssey Customer Support Team Lead. And um, we are welcoming you all to our webinar and our training on how to use FET, on how to use FET for um, enriching sciences learning outcomes, how to use it to, um, to enhance positive learning outcomes for our STEM subjects. When I say STEM subjects, I'm talking about mathematics, um, computer science, biology, physics, basic science, intro tech, basic technology, primary sciences, and name it. So basically, we know um, all of these subjects, we, we, know, um, we know we have issues around them while teaching for pedagogic experiences. So that is the major reason why this workshop is currently going on. So permit me to um, introduce our trainers and um, our, our facilitators for today. Notes, I'm trying to note this, that these trainers are well trained from, and they are teachers also in Ogun State, from different um, blocks and different districts in Ogun State. And they have been well trained. We have program masters. We have the best teachers for each of those years is all around. So they are well selected and they are well trained. So they are training all of us in order to be able to use FED simulation on all of our Odyssey platforms, our EduTams platform for the basic, for the basic, for the private, and for Odyssey platforms for the public schools. So um, I'm going to be introducing. We have uh, Mr. Adewale Kayode, which is our Boga master, and is um, is a YouTuber, is a teacher. He, he has been a best teacher in the whole state. We also have Mr. Bankoleta Judin. We have Mr. Daniel Tengbord. We have um, we have um, Mr. Osho Olushola, Mrs. Kemi Alabi. We have Mr. Emosu. We have um, we have we also have the general manager for Editams Limited here with us, Mr. Bimbola Adebayo, and um, we also have Mr. Dapo Kenyi, the best teacher. For I think 20 year 2021 or 2020, if I'm right. So um I'm I'm telling you a welcome, 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 welcome to the platform, welcome to the platform, and also to our viewers, our teachers. I'm saying a big thank you for joining us live. So um basically, basically, um, what FET is all about. We have um, um FET from Colorado, they they decided to partner with Ebitams in order to help education generally in basically. So um, they, they, they thought it, they deemed it fit to help us all, and um, we are grateful to them also for, for that. So um, FET basically is a simulation. And we know when we talk about simulation, simulation is just um, trying to bring the real world into the abstract world. So currently, without without wasting much of our time, we are going to dive straight into it. So, I am um, I'm bringing in Mr. Dapo Kende to take us directly into it. Mr. Dapo, welcome, sir. 
It's a pleasure, ma. Good morning, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Good morning, sir. Uh, it's already afternoon. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, and good, sir. Good afternoon to everyone online. Quickly, let me just share my screen uh, straight away uh, to commence my own session. Okay. Okay, once again, good afternoon. Mrs. Ademola, I hope my screen is visible now. Okay. Is it visible for everyone? Yourself. Ready, share yes, the screen. Yes, go ahead, sir. We can see you. Okay. So once again, good afternoon, everyone. I want to thank afternoon, uh, the sir. management firms for bringing me to this podium to share one or two things about FET interactive uh, simulation. I equally want to thank uh, the Honorable Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology in Ogo State for all the wonderful innovations he has been bringing into uh, the education sector uh, in terms of incorporating technology into the teaching and learning processes of our educational uh, system. So this afternoon, I'm glad to be sharing uh, with us about uh, one of the benefits uh, that we can get from the Ogisela platform that has been the order of the day as regards uh, the state education uh, sector. Uh, and that has to do with FET interactive simulation. So quickly, I just want to introduce us to what FET is all about, and at the same time, linking us to some of the benefits we as teachers and equally our learners can derive uh, from the usage of FET simulation from the Gisera uh, platform. So uh, as Ms. Ademola has rightly told us uh, from my introduction. Edutams uh, uh, deem it fit to partner with the University of Colorado in to integrate FET. And FET is a research based interactive computer simulation for teaching and learning physics, chemistry, math, and other STEM subjects in order to strengthen its commitment to driving technology and causing a sustainable transformation in Nigeria education system. So I want to give you to terms uh, for giving uh, those of us in the education sector in Ogun State uh, the platform where we can make use of effect, you know, to enhance uh, the teaching of science subjects. Physics, chemistry, mathematics, where basic science, basic technology, and other uh, science related uh, costs. So, what is faith? And maybe we should just start from there. What is faith? Uh, the word faith actually stands for physics, education, technology. Physics, education, technology. Physics, education, technology, and it's a suit of research based interactive computer simulations for teaching and learning physics, chemistry, math, and other sciences. FED simulation can be run online or downloaded for free from the FED website. But we thank God now that we are having it on the Ujisera uh, platform. Now, FED is basically an interactive simulation that science teachers can make use of to enhance the teaching and learning of their subjects. And then when we're talking about simulations, simulations are animated, interactive, and game-like environment. Not an interactive environment, an environment that looks like a gaming environment for students 
can learn through exploration and through inquiry. So uh, simulation emphasizes the connection between real life phenomena and then the underlying sciences. And it also visual and visual model of expert science is accessible uh, to students. Now what uh, I'm trying to say here is that when we're talking about simulation, simulation is like bringing the real life phenomenon into a kind of game or interactive or limited mode that can be easily accessible to our uh, students or our learners. Now, in the course of the training uh, this very day, we will see and we'll be able to understand uh, some of these things that I've just said as regards uh, simulation. Now, what are the benefits of using FET simulation with learners? So what are the benefits of FET? Or why is EduTam bringing in VET into the Ujicera platform? Now, you will agree with me that uh, from uh, some of the things I've said earlier, one of the benefits of FET is that it encourages scientific inquiry. It encourages scientific inquiry. You will agree with me that some of the topics, uh, let me say scientific topics, has to do with you know, uh, practical demonstration. And unfortunately, looking at uh, our system today, our educational system, we would discover that uh, we have little or very, uh, we have little or no, you know, uh, practical equipment that we can actually use, you know, uh, to arouse the interest of our learners and also to make what they are learning real to them. So this is what FED simulation has to offer us in the sense that where we lack the scientific equipment, we can actually make use of the simulations that is available on the Ujicera platform to demonstrate to our uh, students how those reactions uh, takes place. So FET encourages scientific inquiry. Another thing, another benefit that FET brings to the table is that it provides interactivity and that helps our students to learn the concepts, you know, that we are teaching them. For example, if we are thinking, if, if we are teaching them about matters, so we have simulations on matters that will, that can easily aid, you know, the teaching and learning process, thus, you know, providing interactivity for our students. Another benefit of, uh, of it is that it makes the invisible visible. For example, if we are, you know, maybe teaching about fire now, it may be practically impossible for us to bring fire into our classroom. But with FET simulation, we can simulate fire, and then our students will be able to see, you know, the concept that we want them to uh, gain access to. Then again, with FET simulation, we have the opportunity of showing them a visual laboratory. That is where uh, lab or laboratory equipment are not available. FET simulation over us a virtual laboratory that is an online laboratory where our students, you know, uh, will work as if they are in the real laboratory. So these are what FET simulations are to offer. So in a case whereby a school lack maybe chemistry laboratory, physics laboratory, biology laboratory, or even mathematics laboratory. So we can you make use of simulations, first simulations on the Gisera platform to actually you know, visualize the real uh, laboratory. And then once our students are seeing those visual laboratory, it will be as if they are in the real laboratory. So these are what first simulation are to offer us as teachers. Another thing is that we have access to multiple representation. Whatever we are teaching our kids, we can use object motion to represent it. We can use graphics to represent it. We can use number to represent it. We can even use uh, image to represent whatever we are teaching our learners, courtesy of FED simulation. Then again, making use of FED simulation allow us to embed games and challenges into our teaching and learning process. So we have access to real-world connection 
And that will also give us the opportunity of trying to, you know, uh, embed our teaching and learning processes in form of games and challenges. And this will equally arose the interest of our learners towards whichever topic we are taking them. Then again, using faith gives users implicit guidance in productive exploration. So by the time uh, you are making use of simulation, one way or the other, you don't even need a, uh, you to be saying, okay, student, listen, don't make noise, don't do this. Even on their home, uh, they will want to watch the reaction, what is being, <laughs> is being shown on the FET uh, simulation. So it will limit the way we control our classroom. It will limit even the way we chastise our students in the classroom. So these are some of the benefits that FET simulation has to offer for us as teachers and also our learners. And again, we can, with FET simulation, we can create a simulation that can be flexibly used in many educational situations. So irrespective of the situation we find ourselves, FET simulation is always available, whether we want to use it you know, offline or we want to use it online. So these are some of the benefits of FET simulation. And I want to believe that in the course of the training this very afternoon, by the time some of our other facilitators come on board and they're giving us examples of how you can use FET in the mathematics world, how you can use it in the physics world, how you can use it in the chemistry world, how you can use it in the biology world and in other science uh, subjects, then you will know that first simulation is actually something that we science teachers should embrace. And thank God that we have it free of charge on the Ujicera uh, platform. Then, what are the things uh, we can do in the first simulation modules? I will just you know, run through this in the course of the training, the way understand some of this thing better. One of the things we can do is that we can click and drag to interact with the simulation features. We can use slider to increase and decrease parameter. We can choose between options, you know, with radio button. We can make measurements. Now, these are some of the practical things we can use, uh, we can do in the FET simulation uh, module. Then, uh, to conclude my own very session, I would just want to tell us why we need to teach uh, with FET. Why do we need to teach with FET? Now, research has shown that effective use of FET simulation can lead to improve conceptual learning over traditional lectures, demonstrations, and laboratory. Now, one thing that FET has to offer us is that there is improved, or let me say there are improved conceptual learning over the traditional lectures where we just come to the class, you know, we just you know, deliver the lecture, nothing to aid the teaching and learning process. So with FED, you know, everything that we need as we got science subjects, we, will ha we have it on that FED simulation platform that we can actually use, you know, to arouse the interest of our learners to demonstrate what we are teaching them. And again, in the absence of a physical laboratory, FET simulation offer us a virtual laboratory that we can actually demonstrate you know, whatever concept we are teaching our learners. So how to use FET on the Ujicela platform is very simple. To those of us that are educators in Ogun State, what you just need to do, log on to the uh, Ujicera platform, which I believe the next facility to after me will take us through. So once you log into the Ujicera platform, then you will see the FET simulation module. Just click and then you begin to navigate the module. So once again, I want to appreciate uh, the leadership of TAMS for bringing me uh, to this platform to share one or two things about FET simulation on the Ujicera platform. So thank you. And have a wonderful presentation. Thank you again. very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dr. Kende. Thank you so much. It's a great privilege having you teach us the benefits of FET simulation. So coming up next um, to teach us about um, mathematics 
And um, contrary to the popular belief, when we talk about um, STEM subjects and they mention mathematics, most things we think about is just mathematics in the secondary school. But forgetting the fact that um, the foundation and the building block start from the nursery and the primary section. So um, upcoming, we are going to be having Mrs. Aramose Olua Fumilayo. She's going to be teaching us mathematics and um, she's going to be taking us through um, through mathematics from the primary and the nursery section. Mrs. Aramose, it's so nice having you. Welcome, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, ma'am. I am Mrs. Uh, Aramose from a uh, bad block. I will be talking of taking us through how to make use of FET module embedded in school management solution to simulate teaching and learning to enhance mastery learning of our students. Well, it has been discovered that the performance of our students in basically sciences are not what they should be, most especially in mathematics. Why is this so? Because the subject mathematics is being taught in abstracts. So this makes students believe mathematics is very difficult to understand. But true facts stimulate teaching. We discovered that in a very simple way, in a very simple, in an, in an attractive, in a, uh, a pictorial way, students can easily learn and understand things better because students learn better when they are engaged students learn better when they are engaged when they see what they see they really they easily understand so i will be taking us through how to make use of the first stimulate uh, module in the embedded in the ob server platform to teach our students at the lower level how to understand math better. So, I will be taking us through this. So the first thing that we need to do is to log in through our OG server platform. Log in through the OG server platform. Ma, sorry to cut you short, ma. We cannot see your screen, ma. Okay. Let me... You have not shared your screen with us, ma. Okay. What about now, ma? Are you it now? No, ma. Not yet, ma. Okay. Yes, ma. Not, not anymore. I can't, I can't. What about now, Yes, ma'am. We, we have you now. We have you now. We have you online now. Okay. All right. The first thing, like I said, that we need to do is to log in through our OB server. Uh, platform, then we need to go to I'm sorry to cut you short, ma. The screen is empty, ma. I can't see your um, your screen properly. It's showing you're sharing your screen, but I can't see it now. Uh, 
Ah, you see Maya, love, love. love. Okay. Let's see. We are waiting. Yes, ma, we can see yes. you perfect. Yes, ma. Okay. So, yes, ma. You log in through your OG server uh, username and password, which I'm doing now. Okay. So, at the pin bar, at the left hand side of the module, that is first symbol module. Then, because there are so many subjects like science subject that were embedded in it. So I will be taking note through mathematics. So I will choose mathematics. Okay. Mathematics, I want to talk about fraction, the subtopic fraction. So I'm using fraction matcha. So I'll take the the macro click on view view okay. fraction when talking about fraction fraction are numerical quantity that is not all numbers a proportion of something that is when something is broken up into number of parts the fraction shows how many of those parts you have. So the number on top tells us how many equal parts we have, which is which we, we uh, usually call numerator. Why the number at the bottom tells us how many equal parts is being divided into, which we refer. To, I think the module is loading. So, loading the network is you. Can you see this? Are, are you still seeing the screen now? Yes, ma'am. We can see your screen now. The, the network problem is, I think it's loading. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Um, probably you should try and reduce. Okay. 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 That's one. So the network is this is not really loading. Okay. I will be waiting. The network is bad there. It's not loading. Okay, sir. Okay, ma'am. The network is bad. In my hand here, the modules is not loading. The network. Okay. Uh, 
right. So probably what we are going to do now is, uh, in order not to waste um, our time, um, I'm going to call the next person. So while you are trying to fix fix up your network now, so um, I'm going to call up the next person. So um, so um, permit me, viewers, to um, introduce uh, Mrs. Kemi Alabi to you. She's going to be our facilitator for biology. We understand how ambiguous the subject biology is, so but she's going to be taking us through how to use FET simulation to teach biology. I'm sorry, my facilitators, for the switch um, to Femigny. So Mrs. Kemi Alabi, my pleasure, yes. you have the floor. Okay. Good afternoon, viewers. Good afternoon, yeah. everybody. Yeah. My name is Kemi Alabi, and like uh, she said, I'm, I'll be taking us through biology. Like we all know that uh, biology is highly voluminous, and the essence of this is to, is to compress whatever we have as notes. We want to bring it out uh, on a pictorial, pictorial way in order for us to go, um, not to go through the stress of having to, having our students, yes, having our students to write so much notes. We want to create uh, a, a, an enabling environment for them to be able to learn without having too much of, um, too much of notes to read. So this is going to be in representation of pictures. It's a lab. We are supposed to take our students to the lab to teach them, but this is going to be done um, through technology on, um, uh, uh, without going to the actual lab. So I'm going to be sharing my screen. Okay. Let me know when you see my screen. Not yet, ma'am. Okay. Not Are yet, you? Not yet, ma'am. What about now? Now, still not. No, ma'am. Probably you should retry again, ma'am. That's what I'm doing. Are you okay? I'm retrying. No, yes. So, um, our audience, um, while Mrs. Yes. Kemi is still trying to, she's really trying to love. We are very sorry, but it's a peculiar situation. Um, with, with us as. <laughs> As, as a country, so we understand how our network is. So please bear with us while she's trying to um, while she's trying to fix the network. Please bear with us. So um, I hope our viewers on um, on Google Meet are following us also as well, and also our viewers on um, on YouTube. So while she's trying to fix up our network, I need to chip in this. Um, at the end of the session, we are going to be taking a question and answer session. So please, you can drop your um, questions on either um, stream, on either um, YouTube. We are going to take it up from there. Or you can also drop your questions also on Google Meet. We are also going to take it up from there. So we are all going to answer the questions at the end of the session. And um, moving forward, we are trusting this, um, this workshop to be very, very uh, interactive and informative. So, Mrs. Kemi, are you with us now? Yes. Can you can you can you see my screen now? Not yet. Not yet, Mike. I still can't hear your screen. I still can't hear your screen. Still. What about now? So, um, our viewers on YouTube, you can drop your comments. Um, we are going to be taking. We are going to be taking it. Our viewers on every social media platform we have. Um, that we are currently streaming on. Please, you can drop your comments. We are going to pick them all up on it all. So, um, 
while we take while we keep on taking the um, the sessions, and we keep on taking the sessions. Yes. Can you see my screen now? I keep on taking the sessions. Have you seen it? This camera we still can't view your screen now. Oh. Yes. Still cannot view your screen. Still cannot view your screen. Okay, so um, we still cannot view your screen. We still cannot view your screen. So um, Ma, please, probably you should try and um, help us fix it up. I have to. We, we don't have more time to waste. I have to okay. bring in someone else. I have to bring in someone else. I have to bring in someone else. So um, please um, please bear with us. Please bear with our network. We are very sorry for that. So, um, Mr. Uh, coming up next, I'm going to be bringing our chemistry facilitator, our chemistry facilitator, and that is in person of um, Mr. Thank God Daniel. Mr. Daniel Thank God. We're going to bring in our facilitator, Mr. Daniel Thank God. Mr. Daniel Thank God, how are you, sir? How have you been, sir? I'm fine. Thank you. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. I'm very happy to be among you this afternoon. To be one of the facilitators, I want to appreciate the program coordinator. I want to say a very big thank. Not to waste much time, I am Daniel Tangod. I'll be taking you on the first simulation on chemistry. The first day I come across this first, one thing I told myself is, science made easy that faith has come and made science very simple what has been so complicated they have made it very simple and i fell in love with it i want to show you how we can use fat stimulation to make chemistry which people have seen as a very complex subject that this subject is so hard to understand well thank god for fat simulation everything i made simple through the Open Sarah website, they have incorporated everything. And through that, we're going to FED. So now let's go. Let me share my screen. Okay, sir. Can we see it now? I... Not yet. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Through the Ogunsera, as a teacher, you log into your Ogunsera portal and you go to under the dashboard your, your first simulation module. And when you click it, you have a class. Click the class, it will lead you to the first simulation of different subjects. Now you go, if you are a chemistry teacher, you type in chemistry to filter the subject topic. And now for the topic you intend teaching, you can search it through the inside button. Now, the topic I'm going to take you this afternoon is gas properties. So going in the simulation, let's press view to save. Now it's loading. All right, I believe you can all see the screen. Now, in the first simulation of chemistry and that gas properties as a topic, we are going to see how gas behave. In the theoretical part of chemistry, when they, are, when they have been teaching chemistry on gas property, we find that the teacher will be Looking stories about gas, telling us the gas property. Gas has very small in size, gas occupies space, a little, very little space. So all these are abstract, we cannot see them. But with this simulation, we can see what is happening in life and the behavior of gas, the ideal gas. We're going to see how these gas behave because when we are dealing with gas properties, there are four or three major parameters that you have to consider, and which are the volume of the gas, the temperature of the gas, and the pressure. Now, we have three main major gas laws that help us to 
say something that describes what the behavior of these gases. And one of the laws which are going to be discussed this afternoon shortly is the boy's law and the other is the child law. Now the third one is the Dalton's law. That might not permit us to go through that. But now let's see what those boys said about the gases. Remember in our theoretical class, we said, boys said that the volume of a fixed mass of gas is inversely proportional to the pressure provided that the temperature remain constant. So we're going to see how this volume varies inversely to pressure. In the theoretical class, we cannot see them. And when we even go to the lab, we cannot see the gas, how they behave. We need many gadgets to be able to see the gases. But now, FET has made it easy for us to bring the lab close to us so we can now see how, how gases behave, how volume varies inversely to pressure when the temperature remains constant. So if you can see the screen, you can see a box that describes our volume. Now you can see the temperature reading scale. Remember the standard unit of temperature is Kelvin. So you can see the Kelvin scale. Now at the bottom of the square, you have a bucket. Now this is to supply heat, which either increase the temperature or reduce the temperature. Now we also have a piston button here where you can supply the gas particles. Now let's say these are two boxes under this pistol. We have the heavy particles, which are blue. Now let me pop in the gas particles into the volume. Now you can see they are much heavier. So the motion, the speed is a little bit slower. Less if we have a lighter gas particles, which are red in color. Now let's we put in these particles into the volume. Now you can see that the speed increases because they are light. So we can equally say that lighter gases move more faster than the heavier gases. So now look at this cold constant. Now each of these parameters can be kept constant while all that varies. Just as Boy says, if the temperature is kept constant. So let's see when the temperature is kept constant, what will be the behavior of gas? Our temperature is at 300 Kelvin. So now, can we increase now the volume and see what will happen to the gas or to the pressure? Remember, this is a scale like a watch. This read our pressure at atmospheric ATM. Now, let's reduce this volume by half and see what happens to the pressure. Let's take our eyes close to the pressure button and see. Now, what do we see? We can see that when we reduce the volume, the pressure increases, which describes Boyle's law, an inverse proportion between volume and pressure. As volume reduces, pressure increases. And as pressure increases, volume decrease let's see if we increase now the volume let's see what will happen to the pressure now the volume is increased now what do we see when the volume increase the pressure do what reduces so that is an inverse proportion so you can see that we have described Bosch law without going to the lab and making use of different gadgets, making use of different machines. Now, this has made it very easy. Now, students can easily say, okay, when uncle was in the class, when he shipped the volume, the pressure increased. And when he increased the volume, the pressure reduces. So it's very easy for students to remember this, since it is like a game, right? So that is Boyle's law being described very simple. Now, let's say for Charles, Charles' law said, that the volume of a fixed mass of gas is directly proportional to the temperature when the pressure remains constant. So we are going to see, let the pressure be kept constant. Where is our pressure? This is pressure. So we keep pressure constant, and let's see the temperature. When our temperature increase, what will happen to the volume? And when our temperature reduce, what will happen to the volume? So let's see, let me supply heat that will increase the temperature of 
us gases. So we have, you see, now we can see that when, sorry for this. So when the pressure, the temperature is increased, when the temperature is increased, the volume also increases when the pressure is kept constant. So take, let's take a look at this. We have increase in temperature. We saw the temperature increase, the volume also do what? Increase. And when we reduce the temperature, what happens? The volume also reduces. So, so now you can see that the pressure, the volume, and the temperature varies directly to each other. Increase in volume leads to increase in temperature. An increase in temperature leads to increase in volume. That is Charles' law made easy. For each of the particles, whether heavy particles or light particles. So we can see that science has been made easy through the Fed simulation. So we can also describe if, all right, let's say nothing is kept constant between the three variables and we now increase the temperature. Let's say nothing is kept constant. So now when I increase my temperature, let's see what will happen. The temperature increase, we can see the more the temperature increase, the speed of the particles increase and the temperature increase. The same with the pressure, just like kinetic theory of gases, that the particles are in constant random motion and they are being affected by the heat. The more the heat, the more the kinetic energy. So when heat is applied, the particles gain more energy and they move more faster. And when the heat is reduced, reducing the temperature, we can see that the speed of those particles begins to reduce. Now to reduce down to the lowest, where the particles will be moving very slow because the temperature has been reduced and their kinetic energy has been reduced in response to the temperature being reduced. Now, this is chemistry made easy. So with this, the student will be very, they will be happy, isn't it? Ah, we are playing game, or yet we are still learning, right? It's just like a game, play. You are playing game, and yet you are still learning. So Fed simulation has made things very easy in the field of chemistry where the, i if i might say i stand to be corrected i think the number of people that fear the student that fear chemistry are even more than those that fear mathematics but now with this fed you can see that everything is made simple thank you very much and i hope to see you using fed simulation in our various schools and our class to make learning easy. Thank you. Once again, I want to appreciate the coordinator. Thank you for giving me the privilege to be a facilitator in this. Thank you very much. Ms. Quinsley. Hello. Ms. Quinsley. Hello, can you hear me? Hey. Miss Quinsley, I'm done. Miss Quinsley. All right, maybe before she comes. Let's see other topics in chemistry that we can use Fed simulation.
Can we all see the screen? Yes, now let's see the topic on chem building an atom in chemistry. Let's see how we can teach our student how to build an atom. So when we are talking about the atomic property, as the atom always described, that the atom is made up of smaller particles called electron, which are moving around the orbit and with a dense nucleus that is made up of the proton and the neutron. So let's see in this third module that described to us how we can build an atom with the three fundamental particles of an atom, which are proton on this abrasion, we have neutron and we have electron. Now, this is a periodic table. Whatever atom in this simulation, every atom you build, the symbols appear on this space of the periodic table. And you can also see the charge of the atom you build, and you can see the mass number of the atom you build. So let's see building a hydrogen atom. Let's see with a proton, we have neutron, Now let's take electron and let's see which part will it be at the nucleus or will it be at the shell? This round dot button you are seeing is called the shell of the atom. Where we have the nucleus. Now let's take in, you can see when I bring in the, the electron at the nucleus, it will bounce back to where it's supposed to be. That shows that electron are not meant to be at the nucleus, but at the shell. So now you can see what atom do we build? The hydrogen atom. So from this, we cannot take what is the charge of this hydrogen atom. Can I press this plus? Now it shows what? Plus, plus one. And what is the mass number? The mass number is two. So hydrogen has mass number two, All right? So let's build more atom and see. This is an atom. We have this. Let's say we have this and we have this. Now we can see we built a helium atom. Now remember when doing it, writing an electronic configuration using the shell method, I see that the first shell, which is the air shell, can only accommodate two electrons. Now when these two electrons are occupied, the shell will no longer accept any other electron. And that is why when I try to place it on this shell, it will bounce back. Do we get it? So now this is how to build an atom. So we can see that the more I'm adding electron, proton and helium, the mass number increases. Now this atom that I build is a negative charged particles that shows a minus ion, which is what? Minus two. Now let's put more of the proton and see what atom are we going to form. Now we have beryllium. We have beryllium, which has four electrons moving around the atom, and we have this. Now this is the mass number of beryllium, which is seven. And since it's a neutral atom now, it has a charge of what? Zero, because it's a neutral atom. Now let's see if we have more of the neutron. We have, remember we said neutron has neutral charge. And we have more of the electron. We have this. We have that. Now, look at this ion that we form. This is beryllium ion. And what is the ion number? Number two. That means it has, it can only give two electron from its outermost shell. And the mass number is 10. So we can see with this, student can be able to know 
how an atom is, how an atom can be formed, what are the particles of an atom without stressing their brain or trying to cram what uncle is, will be telling them that atom is made up of smaller particles, that the nucleus made up of proton and neutron, they can see where the nucleus is in the atom at the middle, and they can see where the electrons are at the shell of the atom. So everything has been made easy by the first simulation. Science been made easy. Chemistry has been made simple. So with this, you can easily expose the children. Then they can, you, they can take this and begin to add electron, neutron, and proton, and they begin to see the symbol. Okay, if I add certain number of electron, I add also number of proton, I add also number of neutron, this is the atom I form. Do you all get it? So it's very simple. I believe with this, you will begin to make use of this in our various classes to expose our children, our students, into the world of science that have been made simple using the FED simulation. So thank you once again. Appreciate being in your miss. Thank you. All right, you are welcome, uh, Mrs. Alabi. I'm so well. Uh, and go ahead. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Please, Miss Alabi, you have to, you have to remove one of your gadgets. Remove one, please. What? You are using two. You are using two. Uh -huh. Go ahead with this Go ahead. one. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, clearly. Yes. Okay, I'm trying to share okay, the screen. Share screen. I see the 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 Uh, after going to the first simulation, please remove one, remove one, miss, remove one out of your. Okay, I have just two. I have one. just two. I have just one. Is it okay now? Is it okay now? Is it okay now? I have just one. I don't know. Is it okay? Is okay? Okay, like I said. Okay, like I said. I'm taking biology. I'm taking biology. So I pick my subject. So I pick my biology. And I am running through the topics. So.
volume is good. Volume is good. Volume is good. Am I good to go? Can I go? Can I go? I have just one. I have uh, just one. Okay. Tell me when it's okay. Tell me when it's okay. Go on, go on, man. Okay. okay. Okay, like I said, um, we are going to talk about biology as a subject. What about now? What about now? What about now? I can hear echo and it's not. Yeah, it's not. We have logged in in two places. It's better you log out one, log out one, or log out the two and log in again. Now. Please, Mr. Aramasha, if you are ready, you can go ahead. Okay, she's back now. Okay. okay. It's better now, so Mr. Aramasha, go ahead. Hello? Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes, it's coming up. Okay. So what about now? 
Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Okay. Okay. So we are on biology as a subject. Like I said, biology is very, very intense in terms of note writing for students. I remember when I was a student, when I was in secondary school, we usually like to run away from biology because of the volume of the the volume of the notes. So now we are going to take a subject, a subject, I mean, a topic called color vision. And so I am clicking on view for us to view what color vision, what um, simulation we have under color, color vision. As it is loading, yes, it's loading. Now we have this. Okay, we have this. Color vision is talking about a vision, how we see colors, what color the brain uh, is uh, giving us. You know, when we see colors, our brain tells us the color that we see. So it may actually not be the color that we are, that, that, the actual color that we are seeing. The, our brain interprets the color for us. So we want to test our vision um, in this online lab. If you are going to take, as a teacher, if I'm going to take the students, I would have written a lot of notes. And after that, I'll take them to the lab, a uh, physical lab. Uh, a physical lab that actually may not have uh, the instrument or what I need to teach the students. So instead of stressing ourselves looking for, looking for, um, items for them, looking for different kind of things for them to use in the lab. We have this online lab for them. Online. Like, um, Um, to to us, um, color vision is talking about the ability of us to perceive. We are perceiving differences between some uh, um, um, light um, wavelengths, the intensity of light. We have different colors. Like um, we that are uh, women, we know colors more than men. We have uh, them in uh, different shapes, different different hues, different shapes. We have, for instance, when we go to color of like uh, we have purple, we have lilac. We tell you one is onion, one is you know we have a lot of them. So we want to test our color vision, our senses. And we want to see a test a particular color and check what our brain is telling us about that color. So I would like to first go to this RGB bulbs. RGB bulbs, they are like uh, LED bulbs. You know, all these bulbs that we have now, like all these um, energy saving bulbs. So RGB bulbs, this one is talking about, um, we have blue color, green, and red. So RGB is red, green, and blue bulbs. So I'm clicking on RGB bulbs now. So RGB bulbs. Can you see this? Can you see this, please? Can you see this? Yes, go ahead. Man. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. okay, yes. Yes. This is an individual. This is an individual. Here we have. Um, here, we have this picture of this individual. We have this, which is showing us that the skeletal um, uh, picture of this that individual, where we have the brain. We can see this is the brain. The high sees this colors. The brain interprets the color, and the interpretation comes out through this circle, through this circle. So the eye sees something. The brain, the brain interprets the whatever the individual are seen, and in this time we are talking about the color. So this eye sees colors, and the brain interprets the color into different uh, things, and it is shown here. So we are going to be playing with 
the picture of that individual and the other pictorial version of the individual. Now we have this, like I said, the R G D bombs. And um, we have this as a play and pause uh, button. So this, we are going to play with these different um, shades of colors. Like I said, these are RGB uh, bulbs. And in RGB, it can, uh, RGB bulbs can give us, there are three colors, but they can actually give us 16 million shades of colors. 16 million shades of color. They are possible to, to, to give us those 16 million. So it means that if we carefully play with these three buttons here, our um, brain can interpret them into 16 different shades of colors. Now, I am going to be like we know this button represents um, when, when I move it, it means can you see the color is scattered? This is green color. The brain actually is interpreting it to be a green color. Now we can mix the color. We want to do this lab experiment to mix colors. I'm mixing with blue color. Just make sure you are checking what the brain is interpreting. You can see with this tool now, the brain is interpreting this uh, volume of um, the volume of that green color and the volume of the blue color, interpreting it to green color, a particular type of green color, where that person, that individual is not seeing blue color at all. Now, I want to mix it with red. Let's see what happens. The color is not that changing. Now, let's change the volume of the, the quantity rather, the quantity of, can you see, please just watch what the brain is interpreting. You can see. You can see the color that the brain is giving you. This is showing us that whatever we see, whatever we think we see, or whatever we see, might not actually be the color of what is entering our eyes. So let's play around with this. Can you see? We can see this color is a little golden yellow. Um, we can see. Let me let me start changing. Look at this. This is. I think this is like. Um, kind of pinkish color, lilac. What we are doing is to play around with, this, with, with these variables. When you play around with them, you get different kinds of color. I want to quickly say here that um, sometimes we go to, to, to shops to buy some things, or sometimes we are in our homes. We want to check a particular color. And you know now we use this um, all these energy saving bulbs. They are LEDs. And the color this bulb is showing us may actually not be the actual color. So what we are supposed to do is to go outside where we have the natural light, the natural color, check the color. So sometimes when you go to the market and you want to buy some stuff and you know, they'll just tell you, you tell them I want to buy green color of a shirt. They'll tell you this is green color. Don't be deceived. Just try to go outside and check the actual color. So this uh, RGB bulbs, is telling us, I mean, this, this uh, experience is telling us that you see colors uh, differently. So when I hold a purple, a purple cup, it may actually not, may actually not be a purple cup, but my brain is telling me, interpreting it to be a purple cup. We can see this, um, um, this um, arrow, this arrow now, I have changed uh, the volume or the quantity of this red red uh, color is much more than this blue. So when I play around with this, the colors can change. Can we see? Can we see? The color is changing. Don't forget that I said these RGB bulbs can interpret colors. These three colors can be interpreted, can they are possible to give us 16 million different colors. So this is that individual you can see so when you have students here and you bring them okay group we have group one group two group three come and play around with this thing you give them questions like when you mix rgb bulbs when you have just blue color and uh, green color what do you see when you have um, um let me okay like now i have stopped the red color 
Okay, you can give some groups, uh, red and blue color, who keep changing the, the quantity and let's see, they write down your observations, you know, and all that. So let's let's keep here, let's leave this space. I hope you are able to see this, and we are able to understand this very well. Now we want to go to, to single bulb. This is single bulb. Let's assume this single bulb is all, all these bulbs we have in our homes. This bulb, we have different colors of them also. We have yellow or golden yellow. We have uh, blue. In those days, we used to have all those dark, dark colors in our rooms. We have red. We have, so my arrow is here. We have purple. We have uh, some shades of blue. Some, uh, this lemon, this is yellow, orange, red, and all that. This is a torch. This represents a scattered, a scattered light. Scattered, let me... Let me just let me put on this is the on button of my touch. This is a scattered light. Let me see. Okay, I hope you can see. This is a scattered light. This is what I've pressed. I have this uh, box showing that scattered light. I have this one showing that it is a straight light which is pointed to the heart. Don't forget to look at this, what the brain is interpreting it to be. Now, we want to find out that if we have this kind of light and we have, this is a filter color, we have a filter gadget in the lab, that the, the light will be, will be shown behind the filter and the high sees a particular color and the brain interprets the color. So now we are on red color. This is red color for single ball. We have, this is our button. So I'm, I, I'm uh, putting it off, I'm putting it on. And I, I am on straight light. I have directed the light straight to the high and I am putting a yellow filter color. And uh, what happens is that it's showing no color here. The color is showing to be black or dark. There is no color showing. Now we want to change, let me see. Let's change to scattered light, the same thing. Then we change the color of our filter. Let's change the color of our filter. I've changed the color of my filter to this. Let me change this to a street light. Same thing. Let's play around here. I hope you can see. We are playing around and we are seeing that there is no change of color. Um, the other time I told you that the RGB bulbs can interpret color into 16 million. It means ordinary bulb does not really, when you see ordinary bulb, it, it means when you check the color, the color of whatever we, you are holding, it may actually be the correct color. You may not need to, to bother too much. Yes. Now, on blue color, on blue, blue bulb, when the color of the bulb is blue and the filter also is blue, it gives us the actual color, the blue color. Let's see. Here, there is no, the, the, this individual is not even seen anything, it's seen a dark color. You can see we are trying to change the color of the filter. We are trying to change the color of the filter. I want to see if we can get anything uh, changed here. So that is it. I, I, um, for now, I cannot get any. Yes, on purple, we are able to see actual purple i think i'm on blue too but let's change the light to um scattered light let's see what happens let's try and change here you can see on that same purple filter there is no color showing let's come here let's i hope we are able to see this yes we are trying to the, the idea of the experiment is that we do not, you can imagine, you can imagine having a school um, getting all this. I remember when I was in a rural place, you know, even our, even our, our lab, our lab, the lab that we have is not well equipped, let alone having all this. Yes, now we can see that uh, on the scattered light, the light is actually going far. Can you see this um, scattered light? The, this person is able to view it very well. And I think that's why we have this color, why the brain is interpreting the color. So let's go here and see how the brain is. This person is directly um, focusing on the light and that is what the brain is 
talking. That's what the brain is saying. I hope we are able to get a little um, part of this. And um, just this few five or ten minutes presentation to students. I'm able to talk a lot about uh, color vision. And I think color vision in class, when we take color vision, that will be about a double period and one extra period, which is about about 40 minutes. It's time. Most especially uh, biology teacher also, so that we will not need to write too much notes. Our class will be more interesting, no voluminous notes, no too much stress. It is quite very interesting, and I, I thank Edu uh, Times for that. I hope I'm able to to captivate your um, 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 to, to your, your attention, to bring your attention into this. Um, thank you so very much. God bless Edutans. Thank you. Saiwale. Yes, ma. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Salabi. I'm sure. Uh, God bless you, Ma. Thanks for that uh, wonderful presentation. You can stop sharing now. Why, okay. Uh, okay. Mrs. Uh, Aroma Shekomo? You can stop sharing. All right. That's fine. I've done that. I've done that. So let's, uh, Miss Aroma, are you ready now? Oh, she's not with us again. So, oh. Oh. Uh, why waiting for Mrs. Aroma Shekomo? And then the technical Aroma say. Uh -huh. Miss Aroma say, are you are you ready now? Are you ready now? Yes, sir. I am yes, with sir. you, sir. Are you Can ready? Can you see my screen now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not yet, ma'am. What about, now? what about now? Not yet. Not yet. I have connected it already, so. Yeah. I have connected it. Have you seen it? Yeah. Mm. Are you seeing it? No. Once you click, once it, once you take it like that, it will come up on the on the screen. It's working for what about, what about, what about now, sir? Not yet, ma'am. About yes, it's okay. Yes, it's okay now. So go ahead. So, like I was saying earlier, the, the network. Wake up. Wake up. We try to log in through our Odisala platform by putting in our username and the password, which I am doing now. Okay. Okay. I am already in my Odisala platform. At the pin that at the left side there, I will take first sim module. 
click on class. I want to take mathematics as a subject. So in mathematics, like I said earlier, I want to teach a sub topic, which is fraction. I'm using a module from the third simulation module, which is called fraction matcher. So I am clicking on the to view the fraction matcher now. It's loading my side. The network is down again. Okay, okay, it's quite understandable. Yeah. So, um, while Mrs. Well, Aramis is I'm still trying to tell um, everyone please, if you have questions, please drop them on any social media platform you are. We are going to pick it up from there. Please drop your questions. So, Mrs. Armas, are you ready for us? It's, it's not loading. Let me try. Okay. okay. I'm trying to try the metro. Okay. 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 All right. So, we'll keep trying. All this. Okay. 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 Network is down. Okay. So, so then I think I will still have to switch this for our time and our viewers time. That is. So um. While Mrs. Kumila Yarama is trying to fix up on this, um, I'm going to be bringing up um. Mr. Abubayo Abimbola, the general manager of Editans. I'm going to be bringing him up. So um, please just help me make call from Mr. Abubayo Abimbola. Um,
Good afternoon. 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 Good the founder of Edutimes, Dr. Ademola Adenobi, in absentia. And Edutimes, Edutimes is technology assisted education management system. It is a cloud based system which allows multi users. When I mean multi users, I'm talking about Parents can log in, students can log in, staff can log in, and um, the school administrator also can also log in to know and see what is happening around the school. And basically what we are doing in Eritrean is we are using technology to drive education. And um, we've been, been with so many partners. And information view is part of the one we are doing now, which is uh, we have been partnered with um, University of Colorado Builder to advance science education using FED simulation. And um, the Editor platform is a platform that allows teaching and learning through the use of technology. For instance, as a school owner, you can, able to, you can be able to see what is happening in your school, even when you are not there. This one has been, you know, through, through with, it, with the use of technology. Since you can know the total number of students you have, you can know the total number of staff, you can know the total number of parents, even while you are not in school. And it allows you to hold everything about your school as a school owner. You can be able to see at least what is happening, even in terms of, of your finances. For instance, you can like, okay, how much have I even gained in this session or in this step? It can also give you that opportunity. You can see that one because you can even know which department or which class is giving you the best, which class is owing. You can see the, uh, what is it called, the debtors list, the payment list, everything, and even while you are not in school. When you leverage, these are all that we have provided when you use um, Editor's um, solution. And um, on Editor's platform, we have OGSERA, which is um, OGSERA is a platform being adopted by the Ogo State Government, which comprises of both private and um, public school. Is a it's, it's been the OGCR modules is being embedded in Edutimes platform, and in recent time, since we have already partnered with the um, FET simulation, we have already even embedded the um, FET uh, modules onto our platform, and you know, the, the teachers, both private and public teachers, have been using it to teach, especially the. Uh, uh, of um, the STEM, the science education, the science subjects. Mm -hmm. We can see from what we have been demonstrated, from what our great facilitator have been doing so far, you can see how we have already used the, the STEM and even the, the first simulation to change the mindsets around education within Ogo State, both private and public. In a, for instance, you can see that invisible is becoming feasible. You can see how they are, you know, we are using the, the real practical, even you, with this simulation, you can learn. You don't even need to set up a big lab before at least your student can be able to pass physics, chemistry, biology, because it's a feasible thing. You are seeing it. At least you, the practical is there. And a lot of benefits, like um, one of the, um, the first dictator has already mentioned, it's very simple. You can be able to see that the feasible is becoming feasible. You can see that even the, the, the encouragement is there. The phobia for science education is being removed gradually, gradually, because they are like, you can, you can do it. Most, not that a student cannot pass, or not that students don't know what to do. 
But the issue is that when you don't have well equipped library or well equipped and um, science facility, you can imagine. But now with the, with the, with the use of technology, you can drive science education without with ease. Let me put it in that way: with ease, with this first simulation. At least once you log in, and that one is being demonstrated now in Ogun State, both in private and um, public school, because uh, on our platform, Epitam platform, there is Ojisera, and Ojisera and the teachers are the SPA in which they, they are logging in now and they are using the, the, the platform to teach, to teach the students, and they are having results. In our, especially the area of data that I mentioned is 10. Okay, for instance, now one of our first data taught, or you know, chemistry now, you know, even the mathematics, mention everything is becoming um, smooth and even is becoming enjoyable. We are now seeing that what student phobia is being removed gradually. Students so are like, I can do it now. I think I'm seeing it. So it's as simple as this. So they are being encouraged. So and um, you can, that is the, 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 the benefits in the, in the area of the partnership. That we have with the um, University of Colorado Builder in in order to advance the um, education science education with the science with the effects simulation. The simulation has really you know changed the mindset of teaching and learning. They can the, the, the level like I can do it, it is now there. So it's as easy as this, and come think of it. You can see that when you, you know, you know, especially let's say the kids or the, the learners, they, they believe in what they see. Yes, they believe in what they see. And what anything like practical, anything that you see, the something that you are seeing, people don't forget it easily. But they, they had been, you know, the, the demonstration is there. So the first simulation now is bringing more and more in interactive section around the, the steps subjects. We are now seeing ladies, let's say for instance, then you always see students, a, a female student, they, they always run away from science. They are like, oh, I don't think I can make it. I don't think I can do it. But now at least they are like, they are seeing that the impossibility is becoming possibility. And you know, I don't want to just, you know, well, with, because of our viewer and our facilitator, I believe we will have one or two to do. These are things that we are trying to do. We are trying to reshape the, 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 the mindsets around the STEM um, um, subjects in, in terms of the student and even teacher perspective. We are seeing that the encouragement is even there for both teachers and even the student because the teacher, they, 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 they know what to do. They can perform the practical, fine. And you're now seeing something that you can also use to teach your students and also engage them. The, the, the engagement involving the, the, the simulation now is that is super within Ogun State because you can use the platform, editor's platform. The OGCRA has been embedded on editor's platform. And also, the, 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 um, from OGCRA, you can see the first simulation so both in uh what is it called the public and in private now even if you are in remote area you are not in the city irrespective of where you are you can you can now see that we are bringing you know bridging the gap we are closing the gap between the, you know either i'm in or a remote area or i'm in public and it doesn't matter is about what you are seeing is about the invisible is becoming feasibility. Um, I think I just let me just try to you know uh, stop here because I believe we still have so many facilitators that still want to give us a lot on how first simulation is you know is being used and how the, the students can also use it, how they can change the mindset, how everything around STEM um stimulation, the first stimulation. So I want to say thank you very much, Miss Kingsley. Thank you for giving me that opportunity. Thank you, my facilitator. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir.
Thank you so much, my able general manager. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for staying with us. So, um, currently, I am still going to. We are still going to have Mrs. Aaron Musebo. In order not to waste her time, while she's okay, I think I can see her. So, Mrs. Aaron Musebo is um currently on board. So, Ma, please take the floor. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for the understanding. The network is not really helping. So from the platform, I am already on the faction matcher module. This is kind of game method of teaching faction. It's a kind of game method of teaching faction. And through this, students can easily understand and get it better because it is in a, in a pictorial form and the kind of game which they can play at their own pace with their mommy's phone, with their brother's phone, even on laptops. So I will be taking all through the level of the fact. So we are working with level one now. Now we have the matches, we have the level, the score, then the board in which we can in which we are going to use to place the faction to compare the faction together so now we have like i explained the other time the upper number is known as numerator which is one here and the bottom number is known as denominator the part at which the 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 shapes is being divided into so here I am having one over four as a fraction number. So I will look for a shape or a diagram that shows or give the, the right proportion of the number from the board. So here I have, let me take this. No. The, one that is this is not correct why because three portions were shaded here and from the number we said one portion out of four so this will be the right thing i will place it on the board so i have the checker to check whether my answer is right or not i will check the answer now i have the baby that smiles at me that tells me okay i am good to go it is correct plus two marks so I will click on OK to take it to the first box. Yeah, I have my score, level one. My first score is two. So I will take another fraction, three over four. Now I have these four portions, but three portions will be shaded out of four, which I think is the right answer. So I will check the answer again. I have it right. So it is OK. It's two marks that we had to discuss. So why students are playing this? They find it so interesting. They find it so so much attractive because it is Victoria and a kind of game. So it should give them the opportunity. Okay, let me continue like that. They continue. So let's see if I take another one and preventure I choose the wrong answer. So will I have the chance to do again or is that the end of the game? So I'll take this now let me check Mrs. Arama said, do we still have you with us? Are you still with me? So, I will have to try again, return this, and look for the right proportion. So, two out of three is being shaded. So, I'm taking this, check my answer. It's okay. But because I have tried it once, remember the score mark is two. Because I have tried this one, it's just trying to give me the opportunity to try again. So it has reduced my math to one. But nevertheless, it still smile at me that, okay, you have done a good job. So, okay, it has taken it to the matching. So like that, I can continue. 
तो ओके आई वांट टू टेक ऑल स्क्रीन सो दैट वी कैन सी एट द एंड ऑफ एवरीथिंग व्हाट विल हैपन आफ्टर फिनिशिंग ऑल दिस टास्क सो आई एम डन विथ हैविंग सेड ग्रेट सो इन लेवल 1 आई स्कोर 11 आउट ऑफ 12 So students saying this okay you want to continue yes let me try again if i can so like that the learner will move to level 2 like that and it goes on like that so let's try on level 2 and see what will happen same thing goes on until we are try to finish up with that so that is fashion so from our dashboard there let's see a mixed number let's try to see how it will display the mixed number and how the learners can also go about this i think this this can help the the primary school children even the gsl school students we enjoy this and we can after the end of the everything we just copy the link of this thing to their parents phone number on the whatsapp and they are good to go to have it as assignment even to have it as a kind of game that will help them to always remember what is fashion is. so i want to work on the mixed number now i will start with level 1 so here we we'll see here we we'll try to see the fraction with the whole number and stuff so let me take this one whole number and 1 over 3 which is one odd number 1 over 3 so i will look for the diagram or the picture that matches this so here i have it i have 1 2 3 which is the whole number when i have a portion that is just one out of the three portion were being shaded so i have to pick it check on check it and the hand my two marks so i go on to pick another number 1 over 4 so i look for the picture that best describe this so i have 1 2 3 4 Divided into four, that one part is being shaded. I take this, check on it. No, it is wrong. So this is one, two, three. So I have to try again. Pick the right answer, which is this. So check on it. I have it. Okay. So like that, students can go on. I have this one odd number, one over two. Let me check the picture that best represents that. So one odd number. One over two. This goes correct. I have it. So three over four. So I will look for a kind of portion where we have the portion is divided into four, and three out of them is being shaded. So check on this. Correct. Okay. I have to check this. I have one out of two here too. Okay. Okay. So the last one. So, okay. I have eleven out of two. I can continue playing like that. Level two, and the students are good to go because I believe what they see is what they try to always remember. So it will easily help them to understand and learn and arrest their need of learning. They will be interested to learn more and to do more. Even for the fact that it gives them opportunity to still continue with the game. So with this, I think the students will be able to learn and to understand fashion better. So we give little points of uh, illustration. I want to believe the students are good to go. Learn it through the first stimulation, through the Odisera platform. Our teachers can always go through the Odisera platform, through the first stimulation in teaching most of these courses that we think are too difficult to teach in the class for the students to understand. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mama Cesare Mase. Thank you so much. We celebrate you. Thank you so much. We celebrate you. Thank you very much for teaching us and also letting us know that it is when we're talking about um, that also Odysseus and Fet simulation module can carry both the younger um, learners along, both the KG, the 
Nursery, it can carry all of them along. It is not only the secondary school section of course, of course. that actually have that actually can use it. Thank you so much for for doing that. Thank you so much. We we are so blessed having you. Thank you very much. Um, yes, ma. Right along. Um, we um we have uh, we still have we have so many we have so many amazing people here. Um, we have so many amazing people here. We still have our physics facilitator. We still have um. We have we still have Mr. Dewale. We have so many amazing people. We have Mr. Bankole. We have Mr. Emosu. So right along now, I'm going to be bringing up um, Mr. Osho. Mr. Osho, are you ready for us, sir? Mr. Osho, please unmute your mic, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So Mr. Osho is going to be our physics facilitator. So um, we have Mr. Osho here in the building. We have Mr. Osho. So Mr. Osho, please, you can take the stage, sir. We cannot hear you, sir. We cannot hear you, sir. Mr. So Osho. Sure. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. I've already unmuted it. Okay, okay. I can hear you. Are we you together now? You? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Can you hear me clearly now? Very well, sir. Can you hear me clearly now? Okay. Very well, sir. Firstly, firstly, I want to greet everybody here present, starting from um, the MD of Edutan, then my powerful uh, Mrs. Quincy Adimola and uh, other are my co-facilitators. And I want to appreciate you for giving me this opportunity to um, deliver this uh, lecture on this platform. But um, today, I want to introduce us all to how to use FET in teaching, in enriching our teaching and learning uh, program, procedure in the classroom. Unlike, the way we were taught when we were in secondary school. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Unlike, quite unlike the way we were taught when we were in secondary school, we were taught most of these things offhand, right? And we were forced to know them. We just crammed. And as a result of that, we discovered that the country itself could not produce anything. So I really appreciate Edutam for bringing this opportunity to us, right? So what, the, what I want to talk about today is the teaching of thesis. I want to use FET, FET simulation to teach home law in thesis. So I'll be sharing my screen now. OK. I'm already sharing my screen. Oh, um, it's okay, I'm on OG Sarah now. Oh, I'm on OG Sarah platform now. Can you see the pla uh, my screen now? No, sir. No, sir. We can't see it, sir. You can't see it? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me let me let me come out. Okay. All right. So while Mr. Osho is trying to do that, um, please, if you have questions, please endeavor to drop them on whatever social media platform you are currently on. We are going to pick it up and we are going to answer all of them during our question and answer segment. So, Mr. Osho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I want to I want to log in. Okay, I'm sharing. You can't see your screen, sir. You can't see your screen, sir. Add me to the screen. Then uh, let's see. There are some questions here. Why, Mr. Ashore, uh, uh, presentation is loading? 
Mr. Osha, we are still waiting for you. Mr. Osha. Okay. So I am guessing Mr. Osho is trying to fix fix his uh, fix his network. So um, okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Am I connected? Sir, we can see you, sir. So uh, what really happened is that I'm connect I'm connecting my phone to my la laptop to sort for nature. All right, sir. Uh, okay. So, okay, I'm sharing the screen now. Okay, can you see my screen now? Not yet, sir. Not yet, sir. Uh, not yet? Yes, sir. Not yet, sir. Not yet, sir. So, okay. So, I guess um, if uh, we are still going to be trying, probably we would have to fix it later because we can't, we can't um, stop uh, our people, our viewers. We can't keep on taking their time. So, please, sir. Uh, okay, okay. No problem. Somebody switch with you while you try to fix that sir mr tajudin bankole sir are you ready for us sir mr tajudin bankole are you ready for us sir we cannot hear you sir We cannot hear you, sir. We cannot hear you, sir. Probably your network. We can't, sir. We still cannot hear you, sir, Mr. Tajudin. We can't hear you, sir. So I'm guessing somebody else would have to take the session. We can't hear you, sir. We can't hear you, sir. Okay. Please. Okay. Questions. Questions. Let me. Okay. So from from our, from our question section, uh, Mr. Ogusolide, please, we, we, please. Um, your question is not yet complete. Please kindly write write it very well, so we'll be able to pick it up and answer you. Mr. Bankole, can you hear me? If you can hear me, we can't hear you, sir. So please um, try and help us adjust probably your mic something. So if we can't hear you, probably would have to shift to the next person, which is my able, um, my able Boga master, Mr. Kayode. Adewalisa. Mm. Mr. Kayode, um, Mr. Kayode has is a YouTuber, is um is a teacher, he's an educational technologist, and he's a mathematician also. So um I'm guessing when you go online and you hear I am I am Mr. I am Adewale Kayode, your mathematics teacher. So this is the person that um 
that is always behind that voice. So, Mr. Kyle De Adewale, please, um, please um, welcome, welcome, sir. So, please, can you take the floor, sir? All right, thank you, uh, Mrs. Quinsley. And I want to appreciate uh, all our colleagues that are joining us uh, from all over the world, because I guess this is on YouTube, and I know a lot of people are joining us uh, all over the world. Uh, people uh, in the FET community are also joining us. All the FET uh, members in the whole of Africa, they are joining us also. And I really want to appreciate uh, the Honorable Commissioner for Education, Professor Abayo Miyadi Babu, for giving us this uh, platform. I also want to appreciate the Chief uh, Executive Officer of uh, EduTams, uh, which is Dr. Ademola Adenubi. We want to appreciate all of you. And a uh, very good center that I've been talking to Ross uh, since. I want to appreciate our, our wonderful uh, overall best teacher for the year 2020, Mr. Dapo Kenyde. Uh, I also want to he just take us through what FET is all about. I also want to appreciate uh, Mr. Tangod. He's a chemistry teacher from AUD, Ishiwo. I want to appreciate our wonderful boss, uh, Mrs. Kemi Alabi. She's also a Google master. She has just done justice uh, to FET simulation on the Gisera platform using uh, biology and talking about color. I want to appreciate Mrs. Aromose too, a wonderful teacher from a bar block. Uh, and I also appreciate others that are joining us, uh, other facilitators from Remo and from Yewa. So, to my uh, own presentation, uh, it's just going to, I'm going, just going to make it a uh, brief so that we can give room for others to ask questions. I'll be talking, uh, okay, let me just try to share my screen so that you can see everything uh, from here. I'll try to share my entire screen so that you can see whatsoever I want to share from here. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you can see my screen from your end. Can you all see yes. my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, and the viewers at home, and our wonderful uh, teachers that are joining us all over the world, and this program is on enriching the uh, science learning outcome through FET simulation on the Gisela platform. So, I'm going to take it one after the other. Uh, what is uh, FET all about? Uh, my wonderful uh, sister, she has tried to introduce myself, so I don't need to introduce myself again, but if you want me to do, I will do that. My name is Kayo De Adewale. I am the convener uh, of Adewale Kayo De online uh, class. I'm a Google Master Trainer. I'm also Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert. I'm a Microsoft Satisfied Educator. I'm also a trainer for Microsoft. I'm also an Innovative Teacher Fellow of Taisho Learning University of Education in partnership with our co-curation of and UK Nigerian of. So, what is FET uh, simulation? FET simulation is a project at the University of Colorado and is a non-profit uh, open educational resource uh, project that creates and owes explorable explanation. It was founded in the year 2002 by the Nobel laureate called Wema. A FET uh, began with a Wema vision to improve the way science is taught and learned. And if you can actually see what is going on, for many of us that are teachers today, you will see that enrollments of students in science has reduced and due to many factors. And there are many factors that are contributing to this uh, reduction. So um, we, I believe, as a uh, one session that's both assisting students in having more interest in learning of our science. So, what is FET used for? FET uh, provides fun, it's free, interactive, it's a research-based science and mathematics simulation. Uh, we extensively test and evaluate such uh, simulation to ensure education effectiveness. So this test includes student interview and observation of uh, simulation used in classroom. So before they come about uh, FET use in classroom, there have been a lot of researches around it and uh, a lot of touches that have been on it is what we can see that is making the platform useful for students and their teachers. So how do we make use of FET uh, simulation in classroom? 
A fair simulation are particularly effective uh, to help students make sense of scientific concepts. Uh, it makes science uh, of real world experience. Unlike uh, when Mr. Tangod was, you know, talking about atoms. When you want to take atoms in a conventional way, you have to bring some of those things in, and a lot of things, uh, distraction can come here and there. But with first simulation, it makes the student to, what, to have what we call real world experience. So it's a common way to include inquiry in the use of first simulation is by asking students to predict what will happen next. Uh, just like what you can see Mrs. Aramoshe using uh, fraction uh, uh, simulation, you know, telling them what percentage is this, it's going to give them the real pictures of what everything is all about. So these are some of the ways we can use FED uh, in the classroom, and some of our teachers have demonstrated that, and uh, by God's grace, I'm going to do that too uh, as an educator in the state. So I want us to first of all look at, we have two different, we are now talking about two different of lab now. We have been talking about, uh, uh, what is it called, a virtual lab, in, uh, with special concentration on FED simulation module. So that shows another lab also exists, which most of us also know, which is our traditional lab. And there are some of our shortcomings in these, uh, the so-called traditional laboratory that makes Colorado, University of Colorado, to come up with some things of this nature that can simulate, uh, you know, learning or that can enhance the learning of science uh, at secondary and primary school uh, level for us here in Nigeria. So what are the shortcomings of traditional uh, ways of uh, being practical with our students? Uh, as you can see in my picture here, I said the addition, sorry, the advantage and the disadvantage. The traditional setting, the traditional laboratory has its own advantage, but its shortcoming is what is uh, making uh, the University of Colorado to come up with something of this that can enhance science. And what are the advantage of the, uh, of the traditional ways of being practical with our students is that they will have access to real equipment. Two, they have access to real data. Then there is a what we call face-to-face -face interaction with teacher. If teacher is, uh, you know, if something is not clear to them at a the moment, they can easily, you know, move closer to the teacher and tap the teacher, ma, this is not clear to me, provided if there is still time. So like I said, there's nothing that has advantage that doesn't have disadvantage. Uh, the traditional setting also has its own disadvantage. And one of the disadvantages is that uh, it's, uh, it, you know, it's a kind of a scheduled lab hour. Uh, for some of our STEM teachers that are joining us, you can all bear me witness that you only have minimum of 40 minutes as a science teacher to use with your student, and the maximum of uh, 80 minutes, which will be double period, especially in our southwest here. So it's a scheduled hour, and it shows once those students are not getting what we are saying, within that minimum time or the maximum time of 80 minutes, that shows uh, those students will definitely not get anything at that moment. Another disadvantage of the traditional setting is that what? It needs a trained personnel. It will be di very difficult for a mathematics teacher to go and take a student on practical chemistry. So that means you need a trained personnel to undo a practical section when we are talking about the traditional ways. Uh, another disadvantage that it has is that the cost of the equipment is very high these days. The cost of acquiring some of the equipment used in, the, in our laboratory is very cost. And that is why we see that when you get to some of our labs, uh, we always see scanty equipment that are not enough for our students to use. And they also the cost of maintaining them because of the situation of things around. The cost of maintaining them is also high. So these are short, some of the shortcomings of traditional ways of using our being practical with our students. So for the virtual, uh, for the virtual practical, which we are concentrating on first simulation, his own advantage is that what? He's going to give a kind of a visual demonstration of experiment and detail step by step. And then, just like, and 
areas that are complex in my own uh, area of specialization. That when you want to take them, it required you going extra mile in getting some of those tools to break down the concept to your student. Mr. Kayode. Mr. Adewale, are you with us? I think um, Mr. Adewale's network just tripped off. So, um, I think Mr. Adewale's network just tripped off. So, um, while waiting for Mr. Shua and Mr. Adewale, so, Mr. Odu Shole Ademola, I've seen your question. So, it is duly noted and will be responded to. It is duly noted. Okay. Okay. So, Mr. Mr. Diwale. Okay. So, Mr. Diwale is trying to come back online. So, um. So once again, I'm still using this opportunity to say thank you for everybody that has joined us so far. Um, we do not take all of this for granted. Um, we are also hoping that you've learned in one way or the other. We've had um, sessions on um, physics, I'm um, sorry, chemistry. We did at tons um, voice law, child's law. Um, we've had sessions, and that is by um, Mr. Tengo Daniel. We've had sessions on... Um, on chemistry, we've had sessions on mathematics for the premise section. There's a fraction where we dealt, we dealt with um, whole numbers, mixed numbers also, the denomination and the, and the, and the, I think the denominator and the numerator, yes. And we also dealt with um, biology where we talked about colors and the red, green, blue lights, and how it affects how our eyes get to see colors and interpret colors. We. We've, we've also had um, sessions on, um, I think, what other sessions? Uh, yes, we've had sessions, or oh, we've had sessions with um, Mr. Our uh, Able General Manager. Yes, I think that is um, a concise report of that. So we are still waiting for Mr. Adewale, Mr. Adewale um, to join us. Mr. Adewale to join us. Um, and once again, we apologize. We apologize for every glitches that has happened. was not our intention and uh, we are very sorry we are hoping that concurrently as the next session goes it is going to get better and better and we are going to be able to learn more so um okay we are still waiting for mr Dewali. mr Dewali, you are not in the studio yet we are waiting for you Ah. Okay. So, in absence of Mr. Adewale, let me take the, the few questions we have. So, Mr. Odishole Ade Mola said, please, having known the right simulation for the subject, having known the right simulation for the subject and topic, how can all this be embedded into the platform? Hello. Okay, so this question is about Welcome, sir. Ah, it is quite unfortunate. Uh, I don't know. I've just been talking and I don't know I'm not on. So what state did I stop? What state did I stop? Okay, sir. Um, you are still on. Um... Okay, please share your slides, sir. Share your slides. Okay, I'm... all right. So I'm yes. going to do that now. You are still talking to us about this. About um, how um, how it is better using it's the advantages of FET is much more compared to um, the physical, the traditional operation. Um, okay, can you uh, can you add my screen now? 
Oh yes, it has been filmed. Mm -hmm. Alright, so thank you. I can see my screen now. So let me quickly go back then. So you said I stop on the advantage. So uh no 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 please. Like I said, next, yeah, yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. You can start from us. So this is is this where I am? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Alright, so so sorry, so sorry for that. Uh my dear colleagues that are joining us. Uh these are some of the shortcomings of this, and we believe with time we are going to overcome this. So, like I said, uh, there's nothing as advantage. One of the advantage of using our first simulation is that what? It is a visual demonstration of experiment and detail step by step. I've talked about what uh, Mr. Tangod just shared with us. And as you can see, what Mr. Tangod is saying is actually demonstrating uh, the topic atom, telling you the proton and some other things around it. And you can see how he's speaking it, which could not possible you see seen uh, what is it called the traditional lab so again another advantage the first simulation has is that uh it gives easy access the student can actually have access to what we are saying after the school hour unlike the conventional way which only limits to your 40 minutes with them in the class so you can actually move on continue your engagement uh with the Continue your engagement with them uh, after the school hour. Continue your engagement with them, uh, what is it called, during weekend. You can actually continue your engagement with them again during holiday. As we are now, we are on holiday. So if we actually know how to use the FED simulation, you can share your, uh, what is it called, the link. Or tell your student, go to social so -so place on the platform because the student actually have access to all students in Ogo State have access to the platform. They can log in as a student to join or to see whatever information the student, uh, their parents have for them there. So, like I said, there's nothing else is an advantage that doesn't have disadvantage. One of the disadvantage of it is that well, uh, this only operates virtually, and you also need basic knowledge for operating computer. So as a teacher, if you want to use the first simulation module, you need to have some little background knowledge for operating computer. As you can see, some of our teachers that have been navigating from here to there the other time, they can actually do this because they have some basic knowledge of operating so computer. So I'm going to go on to Odyssey platform now. So let me go on to Odyssey platform. So ladies and gentlemen, I am here now on the Gisela platform and I want to quickly use a FET simulation because of my time. So when you log in as a teacher on the Gisela platform, and I know uh, the past presenters, they have talked about that. So once you get into the Gisela platform as a teacher in both public and private school in Ogun State. So we need to give kudos to the uh, Ministry of Education, Science and Technology and the Honorable Commissioner for Education for giving us this platform. We also want to appreciate uh, His Excellency Prince Dr. Dako Abiodun MFR, the uh, Executive Governor of Ogun State, for giving us uh, this grant to operate this kind of a thing. Because if not for, if not for the opportunity given to us, uh, the Ministry of Education will not have uh, this kind of a project, and we teacher too, we will not have the opportunity to do this. We also want to appreciate the uh, editors for as a consultant uh, to the Ministry of Education. So if you want to use this, you need to go to the FET uh, simulation, click your class, and I know my uh, the past presenter have talked about this. So I'm going to give it some minutes uh, to load. So once it loads, I will choose my subject. As for me, I want to choose mathematics, and don't forget, I've done, uh, I've, uh, I've touched the introductory aspect of what I want to do, which is, uh, which is graphing quadratic. So I will quickly search for it because I know the simulation that I want to use. I'm going to search for graphing quadratic. So let me see if this, if this is coming up. Graphing quadratic, graphing quadratic. So I will search for this. So I'm going to quickly search for this. All right, so I have graphing quadratic with me. So once you see 
the simulation you want to use, you click view. So by the time you click view, the simulation will load for you. All right, it's loading now. Good, I have the simulation that I want to use with me here. Now, because of my time, once I see the simulation, I'll give you some minutes to load proper so that I can have the full uh, control of it. All right, fine. So let me load the first simulation now. So this first simulation is actually on graphing uh, quadratic. some time to look. So, uh, Mrs. Uh, Miss Queen Slima. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, why this is loading, uh, I think uh, you said we are going to take the question and uh, question and answer section too. So, if there is any yes. question on grant, can we have them so that we, I can take it uh, simultaneously? Why this is loading? Okay, sir. Um, okay, sir. It's on the screen, sir. Um, it's on the screen, sir. Okay. Um, I'm going, I'm going to slightly just take you off a bit. Um, so I hope we can all see the screen. Check that. Please, having like known, said, yes, please, having known the right simulation for the subject and right topic. Simulation for the subject and topic. How can okay. all this embedded into? How can embedded all this into the classroom? For classroom teaching. All right. Thank you. Like I said, uh by those race, I'm privileged to be among the first set of 20 teachers that started Obundigi class. And when it started there, people were like, uh, is it possible for students to do this? And for some of us, thank God we are all alive during COVID-19. We can all see that our virtual engagement really works. And that is why the Ogun State government, uh, they were leveraging on technology. So when, once you know the simulation you want to use, to do this in classroom, as a teacher, you need to get uh, a guard get like the one we are using now. You are, you come into your class with the gadget, with the gadgets, and show the simulation, play around with the simulation with your student during the school hour. And by the time you do this, ask them a lot of questions and give around the concepts and share the what is it called the simulation you want to use on the parent teachers association platform as for us in Ogun state we did not encourage students to come to school with any form of gadgets so you are not expected to come to school with phone or laptop so it is the duties of teachers to get gadgets to school to use with the student so for you want the student to continue on the simulation you can lay. I'm sure all schools in Ogo State have what we call parent teacher association. So on that platform, it is that platform that you are going to use to reach out after the school hour. So you will use that platform to engage, ask them what to do during the school hour, then tell them what you want them to do access to the center platform you give them instruction on that parent teachers association platform and whatever question you want to ask them ask the question there another thing you can use to embed this into the platform for classroom teaching if you have done it in a conventional way you can also direct your student to your social i'm sure there is no teacher all over the world that doesn't have one social media and or another is either you have facebook or telegram or, or you have facebook or what is it called youtube or uh, what is it called tiktok and some other things like that there are other social handles that you have you can share the link 
on the Parent Teacher Association platform. And there, on that, engagement with your student can continue after the school hour. And it can also continue during weekends. It can also, uh, you can also, uh, you know, engage them during the holiday via the Odisera platform. And whatever feedback you need to get, you can also get that on the Odisera platform. Uh, with this, I hope I've been able to kind of embedding this into plat uh, uh, platform for classroom uh, teaching. Then, uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Quisley. In addition, uh, just like you can see, uh, I'm presently... This is the school multipurpose laboratory. So where I have my gadget with me here, uh, sometimes I do hire, uh, what is it, that I will put on the, what is it called? I'll put the screen on and I will project what I'm doing with my student, just for them to see the value, just for how this can enhance the learning of sciences in our schools. So once you have done this during the school hour, the, 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 what is called, the engagement can continue after the school hour with your student via the Parent Teachers Association platform. Thank you. Okay, sir. So you have been unmuted, sir. You have been muted, brother. Okay, brother. Okay, my screen is still on. Can you add my screen to the platform so that they can see my simulation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. So while waiting for that, uh, I don't know if there's any other question that we can put. Um, none for now, sir. Okay, that's just all. Yes, sir. Of our participant uh, on the other side, if it is possible, if otherwise we can leave. Thank you, sir. Hello, am I still on? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, so let me let me check if it is coming up, uh, so that I can quickly share my screen. I don't want to keep us waiting here. So it's almost uh, done. So I want to quickly go there and share my screen. All right, please. Uh, you can add my screen now. I'm going to share it now so that you can add my screen. Yes, I have your screen. Okay. Uh, Miss Christy, can you stop sharing so that? Sir, sir. Can you stop sharing from your own end? Okay, sir. 
so that this will not be mirror. So can you add now, ma? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Still the same. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's see. Welcome. I decided to stop sharing because I can see it's mirroring uh, the screen. Hello? Yes, sir. We can hear you, sir. Uh, it's, okay. I'm trying to check out. So let me share again so that. I think your screen is not coming up, sir. Ma? I think your screen is not coming up. No, no, I decided to stop because uh, I can see mirror on the, the, the screen is mirroring uh, on another. Okay, let me do something. Can you add my screen now? Don't, sir. Don't, sir. I guess this is from your end, ma'am. No, sir. No, sir. I'm only using one screen. I've just ended uh, any other screen I'm using here. Can you see this? Can you see my screen now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you see it now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So, uh, dear colleagues, so once you see this now, uh, I'm now under graphing a uh, quadratic, and like I told you, this concept, uh, as for me as a mathematics teacher, and I know other mathematics teacher can also bear me witness, if they want to share this. They will need, uh, if they want to teach this concept uh, in a traditional way, they will need graph board. They will need, the students will need graph sheets. Uh, funny enough, they will also need proof so that they can use it to trace uh, the axis and then the, the roots of the equation. But with FET simulation on a GCERA platform, you can actually do whatever you like on it. You have your graph board with you. You have your graph board. Your, the, the, the simulation is your graph board. 
The simulation is also the graph sheet for the student because the student also have access to what you are doing with them in the class. But the only disadvantage is that they can only work with this when they get home. So, how do we use this concept? I've told you, I've, uh, once you get into this place now, the next thing is for you to set uh, the coefficient of the x square, the coefficient of x, and your constant. Uh, if I'm to do this now, once I get into this place, let's take for instance, once I, once the becomes zero, the graph becomes parallel, which means it is a linear, it becomes, you are not seeing anything. So let me try to increase this. It's one now. Or let me increase it to two. Okay? So that means when the, when the coefficient of x squared is positive, the graph gives me, let me take it to negative. I'll be asking my students all this question. This graph, the coefficient of x squared, becomes negative. The graph gives me n shape. Now let me set the coefficient of x. Now, so I'm setting the coefficient of x to 4x and my constant value plus 3. So this, uh, this equation now is minus plus 4x Plus three, so I can actually show this checking uh, by checking equation. Can we see this on it now? So my equation i is equal to minus x square plus four x plus three. Now, what is the vertex of this? The vertex is two, x is two, and y is equal to seven. This is it here. Then what is the axis of? That is the axis of the symmetry at x is equal to what? 2. So what is the equation, the root of this equation, which is the answer that we are looking for? Because actually, if there are four different ways. There are many ways you can use to find the root of an equation. You can use what we call factorization method. We can use what we call the general formula. We can use what we call completing the square method. Uh, and we also, we can use graph method. So, the graphing simulation, uh, FET simulation, is also another method to find the root of an equation. So, if I want to use it, I'll, and it will give me the root of this equation. So, the root of this equation now is minus 0 0.65 or 4 point. So, that is the root of that equation. I can also use, make use of this mirror. If I take this mirror, I can put this mirror, I will also get the same answer. I'm picking this mirror and I put it on it. I'm also getting the same answer. Uh, the question can also be in another form. I can increase the question to 3x squared minus plus 6x uh, minus Two. So the equation, as we are changing the the a, b, and c, as we are changing the coefficient of x square and the coefficient of x constant, the graph will also be changing. The vertex will change, the axis of symmetry will change, the root will change, and the equation as well, and the change. So for this now, the equation is y is equal to three x square plus xx minus 3. And the root is what? Is minus 0 0.65 or 0 0.41. And the, uh, the vertex, which is this, if I uncheck, let me uncheck all this so that I can take it one after the other. The coordinate is this. We can see the coordinate. The root let me take the mirror away so that we can see the root direct. All right, so that is the root. The root of this equation is minus 2.41 or 0 0.41. The vertex, and or minus 2. And the axis of symmetry is what is x is equal to minus 1. 
So ladies and gentlemen and dear colleagues, this is how we can use the, uh, the, le the learning outcome of science, technology, engineering and mathematics using the first simulation on Ojisera platform. Thank you and God bless you all. Over to you, Mrs. Queensley. Wow, thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Dewali. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for um, taking out your time and sacrificing your time to teach all of us. And um, thank you, my also my dear facilitators, Mrs. Fumi, Mr. Bankole, um, Mr. Osho, Mr. Thank God, Mrs. Kemi Alabi. So um, I have so, in fact, we have so many resources in Open State. We are so blessed in Open State. But um, time won't permit us to keep on going because we all have very important things to do and um, we wouldn't want to take so much of your time. So we are going to be rounding up because we, we didn't have the intention of taking this long, but um, due to the network glitches and e and e -cups, so we have to round up. And we've, all we've gone through are social media handles and we only have one question which we have answered. And we are hoping that um, concurrently um, for the next sessions that will be going, because this won't be the only sessions, we'll be having more questions and more engagements. And also we are using this opportunity to tell you that um, you should please like our YouTube channel, subscribe, click the notification bell so that you are going to be getting notifications when we are going to be bringing up much more educational content from every time to also um, broaden the horizons of our teaching and learning in Open State to make the pedagogic experience more interesting and also to have more learning, positive, more positive learning outcomes. So um, we are coming to the end of the sessions. We have so many facilitators that have still not come on board. And we are hoping that um, probably the next sessions they are going to be taking more. We still have our physics facilitator. We still have um, Mr. Bankole. We have Mr. Shaw. We have Mr. Emosu. We have so many people that they have not even taken the sessions. So hopefully in the next session, which we are also going to be broadcast to everybody, that everybody are going to get the news. Hopefully in the next sessions, the next concurrent sessions, they are going to also take those sessions. So I'm going to be saying thank you so much for joining us. We are going to have, we are, I'm seeing this opportunity to appreciate um, the Commission of Education the, the Open, in Ogun State, Professor Arik Babu. We are um, seizing this opportunity to also appreciate um, the governor, um, Prince Dakwa Biodu, also for um, giving us this rare opportunity. And also um, my CEO and slash director, um, Dr. Adenubi Ademola, he would have been here, but um, he's unavoidably absent. So um, we apologize also for that. And also I'm seizing this opportunity to also say thank you to my general manager, um, Mr. Adimbola Adebayo. Thank you so much for the support. And um, my facilitators, I would have, we wouldn't have done this without you. So I'm seeing this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you so much. And also I needed, I need to clarify some things. Okay, so when we talk about FET being on OG Sarah, um, we are not only saying um, we don't have them on, we also have them on our private, our private um, portals also. So, and also it is an open source library. So both the parents can have access to it. The students can have access to it. And also the teachers also can have access to it. So it is not only limited in the school walls, it is um, in and out of the school world. So we can also take advantage of um, this great resource that was given to us by um, Colorado University, University of Colorado FET. We also appreciate them also. We appreciate um, the likes of Mr. Olateju and um, the likes of Miss Jackie in um, Colorado. We appreciate everybody. We also appreciate our dear participants and also um, our facilitators. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, concurrently, we are going to be bringing more sessions. So we say thank you. Please also on our YouTube channel, once again, like, share, um, so that other teachers also can benefit from it. 
like share subscribe also and also click the notification bells so that you can get more notifications also thank you so much so this is come this is i'm um, bringing this to the end of today's training mr Diwale, thank you so much mr ramose thank you so much Mr. Bankole, thank you so much. I apologize. Um, Mr. Emosu, thank you so much. Mr. Osho, thank you so much. Miss, Mrs. Osho too. Mrs. Tenitokwe Osho, thank you so much. Mrs. Kemi Alabi, thank you so much. So we are coming to the end of this session. Thank you so much. Till the next time we'll be coming your way. I am Quincy Ademola. Once again, I'm standing in for editors. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself and please do have a great day.